Alrighty, welcome back here, folks. Again, uh, apologize. We had some um, again some more technical difficulties. We're not quite sure what the the reason is behind it, but again, we're trying our best to, to get things figured out. At least we're getting back on the air here. Hopefully, we shouldn't have any more disruptions. Uh, the rest of the uh, the ball game here, but again, it's still one nothing Blackford. Getting close to five and a half remaining here in the first half. And the Bruins will kick out of bounds. So throw in here for Wapahani. You know, as they look to even the score up here. Still got a little bit of time left remaining here in this first half. So hopefully we might be able to get something on the board right here handled by Hoover. Cross uh, field pass now back into the middle. Nicely done right there. The Raiders again here with uh, three guys back. A little fake kick right there. Now back to the middle, and that'll be cleared away there by the Bruins. Over again now downfield. A oh, two on three situation there, and then Isaac Shreve clears it back out again, and then. Nearly out of bounds, and it will be out of bounds. So Wapahani with possession. 4.15 remaining. A throw in here downfield. Got not much back in the way of Raider players. Blackford, however, did get back defensively. Good job of denying things now. Hoover again, or actually that's yeah, Dayton Hoover rather. Nicely done right there. Henderson cleaning it up again with another save. And we'll punt it away. I'll get across midfield and out of bounds. And now it looks like we have a couple substitutions. First here for Wapahani, and then also one in here for the Bruins. 2.45 remaining. Collected away. Nice job right there. Shreve again clearing it back out again. And Blackford will send it out of bounds. The Raiders here with a throw in. Kate Heffernan looks to find that was number five, Eric Jordan. But instead, Blackford comes right back at him. Now the Raiders here back on their side of the field cleared away. And that's going to head out of bounds. It'll be a throw in here for Wapahani. Jordan will get over there. Not wrestling around there with a couple defenders. Back to the middle. Now back downfield, and Blackford will be back in control with 118 remaining.
And offsides will be the call. Okay, so instead of rather having offsides, we'll have a penalty there on the play. So we'll have a goal kick right here. So that'll be number 27, Donovan Wilson here of the Blackford Bruins. And unfortunately, Henderson unable to get there. And Blackford now takes a 2-0 lead. Great attempt right there. Tried to uh, tried to save it right there, but unfortunately didn't work out for us. And so now the Raiders in a hole. Back to the middle there. Right there was number 11 there for the Raiders. And back to the middle. Here we go again. The Raiders was on attack right there, but then was cleared away. Shreve gets there. Bounces around a couple different times. Gates to the middle. We'll have a shootout here, and now we'll have uh, just a simple kick out of bounds. As the Raiders again will take over with a throw in. Gates couldn't quite get enough leg on that one. A lot of people there in a small space. Still had a nice shot on goal. Trying to give an opportunity there for the Raiders to put one up on the board. And that's going to be the end of the first half. So again, a uh, halftime lead here for the Blackford Bruins. Two to nothing. Uh, so we'll go ahead and step aside here for a break. And uh, again, we'll be back here with the Halftime report coming up right here on the WHS Network. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here on the WHS Network here on YouTube.com. Again, I'm Brandon Morvillius. Alongside here with me is cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy here with our Liberty Perry Alumni Association Halftime Report. Uh, again, um, uh, you know, the Raiders are, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, the, you know they're still in striking distance here. It was definitely a, a, a very much of a letdown, I'm sure, for those guys to allow that second point 
Uh, they're at the 54 second mark remaining there in the first half. Um, you know, it'd be a lot different, you know, if he was only down one nothing, but now you find yourself down two to nothing. And, uh, you know, so without question, I'm sure that's a little agitating for the guys, but, um, you know, you just got to keep, uh, keep getting after it there. I mean, it's, it's been a battle, you know, obviously, uh, the Raiders have been trying to do their best to, uh, keep the ball more on their offensive side of the field here, you know, as, as the first half, um, uh, continued to dwindle down there, but, um, you know, got to get a lot of credit there to Blackford. They've done a nice job keeping their ball on their side of the field to where it's not really putting a whole lot of pressure on their defense, uh, their defensive men in the backfield, and then their goalie as well. Um, but, you know, again, the Raiders have had some opportunities there. But, um, you know, like I said, it's just a battle. you got to keep grinding, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, some you know the, the ball will start to roll your way, so to speak, and, and hopefully we can keep the ball more on uh, on our side of the field, give uh, give Henderson a little bit more of a breather uh, there in the backfield on goal, and um, you know put a little bit you know apply more pressure on uh, on the Black for Bruin defense because right now, like I said, it's been mostly Wapahani that's been um, having to be very defensive as the game has uh, has started and, and went along in this first half uh, with a couple little instances here or there where. We've, uh, you know, applied a little pressure offensively. So, um, you know, hopefully things can change. You know, like I said, you still got 40 more minutes of play here in the second half. Uh, a lot can happen. You never know what can happen. And hopefully, uh, you know, the Raiders just keep their mindset uh, in the right direction here. And, and I know the coaching staff is going to have them uh, coming back out, ready to get things started, and hopefully uh, put some, put a couple shots through the goal. And um, like I said, at least tie this thing up and hopefully get ahead here but um, you know, like I said you still have 40 minutes to play you're only two uh, two scores down so anything can happen um, but we're looking forward to, uh, to some great things happening here in the second half here for your Wapa Honey Raiders. Uh, now again uh, before we cut to break here we do uh, again want to mention tomorrow night uh, we'll be back on the air with uh, Lady Raider Volleyball that will be a junior varsity start time of 6 o'clock uh, with a varsity game to follow um, so we'll have both those games for you as it'll be the home opener for the Raider uh, volleyball team uh, against the Blue River Vikings. Um, so it'll be great to, to uh, get the MEC conference season started to get our first home game uh, under our belts. And then on Thursday night, a schedule change. Uh, the Lady Raiders were supposed to play at, Bla- or at um, uh, Westdale. Well, then that got changed. And uh, now that game's going to be played at Wapahoney on Thursday night. Uh, again, all the times the same, 6 p.m. JV, varsity game to follow Thursday night from Raider Gymnasium. So, again, make sure to mark that on your schedule. Those of you that watch our volleyball games um, on Thursday night, Wapahoney will be playing at home against Westdale instead of playing at Westdale on Thursday night. Um, so that's just some upcoming broadcasts to look forward to. Uh, But we'll go ahead and step aside here for a quick commercial break. Again, back on the other side coming out of the break, we'll have uh, the start of the second half right here on the WHS Network.
Captain Earth. Bang, bang! I, th I thought Captain Jeff was up there. <laughs> but no. That was awesome. <coughs> Alrighty, folks, welcome back here on the WHS Network here on YouTube.com. Again, I'm Brandon Morvillius. Along here with me, as usual, is cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy. So we'll get the second half underway here in just a second. It's uh, 2 0 Blackford. So the second half back underway here, and uh, let's see what the Raiders uh, can come up with here in this second half again. Um, you know, hard-fought ball game here so far. You know, just a couple shots just hasn't went our way, unfortunately, and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, see our guys hopefully back down on more of their offensive side of the field here. Nice job right there. That was Drayden Gates clearing it back out, giving ourselves there a possession there. Now back to the middle, number 17. Was there a moment ago, Dayton Hoover. Number 22, Dane Baker now to the side. Kicks it out of bounds, and now Drayden Gates will throw it in here for the Raiders. Right there to the middle, number 5, Eric Jordan. Kicking on there to Cade Heffernan. And I'm able to get it through right there as the goalie will retrieve things right back up here. And uh, still 2 nothing lead. A little kick away downfield. Booming kick there by the goalie. Right there to the middle, number 14, Nate Limley. Now take away the Raiders in control here. And how easily possessions change. Good job trying to get a get the foot in there to knock it away. There was number twenty five Alton the halfy just a second ago. Young man looked to have nearly broken his own ankles right there that uh, Bruin player couldn't tell exactly what number he is. I believe that might have been number eight, Kirshner. Shot right there, deflected and cleared away. Nicely done there by the Raiders. Mahaffey will now get across midfield. And then once again, there's Blackford. It's going to be a deflection out of bounds, so we should have a corner kick right here for the Bruins. 37-20 remaining here in the second half. Sailing over everyone's head all the way to the near side of the field, and that's going to head out of bounds. So that really worked out well there for Wapahoney. So a throw in here by number six, Lane Logan. Headed up in the air, and number 14, Nate Limley on the attack. To the middle, the Raiders trying to clear it back out. Number 19, now that is Stefan Hoover. And control now cleared back out. That was Drayden Gates across midfield. Handled now by number 22, Dane Baker. And that's out of bounds. Should be Wapahoney's possession, and it will be. So Cade Heffern and now to inbound, or throw in rather. So 
So a throw in now for the Bruins. Heffern in there with a the header. McClellan now. Oh, on try to find Heffernan right there, but then was taken right away by number six, Braden Smith there of the Bruins. Nice hustle here by number 16, Samuel Coffin there of Wapahani. A shot on goal and it's going to go through the net. That was number 19, Stephen Hoover again with another goal for Blackford as they now take a 3-0 lead. So again, you got 35-15 remaining here in the second half. Like I said, you, know, you still have a lot of time here, but... Uh, Things obviously aren't looking too pretty for us so far, but things can change. Like I said, I know it's got to be frustrating for these guys, but hopefully they can keep the right frame of mind and at least get themselves right back into it here because they're, they're far from out of it, but 3-0 three, lead for opposing team is definitely a, uh, a hill to climb with 35 minutes remaining here. Cleared out there by Shreve, but then right back at it. Another shot on goal, and nice hands there. Henderson, uh, yeah, Henderson gets his hands in there on it and is able to record the save. Jordan all alone downfield. Now there's Heffernan that's going to head out of bounds. So the Raiders with a throw in. And now subbing in, we'll have, uh, I believe that is number 30, Nathan Nelson for Wapahani. So again, Heffernan here with a throw in. That's to McClellan. And Nelson, Nelson there with a handle there is get it to the far side of the field. Gates there with some nice hustle and man was taken out from behind. So they got the uh, foul right there and Wapahani will take back over. And Shreve will can kick it back out of bounds here. The uh, Bruins with a 3-0 lead, 33, over 33 minutes remaining here in this one. You know, it's a uh, balming 90 degrees outside here tonight. But the plus side is we do have a well built and very nice press box to sit in and this is our uh, second game of the season so uh, nice to be out here for a nice evening of some soccer I have a corner shot here for uh, for the Bruins trying to head it in and that's gonna sail out of bounds Or 14 Lindley gets it taken right away from him. But now here's Stephen Hoover now to the middle. Now kick right back in. That's going to head out of bounds. So throw in here for Bruins number 22, Dane Baker. Pardon me, that was number 21, Tyler Brown. So 
Great hustle along the side over there. Battle there between the Bruins and the Raiders. Back to the middle, sent away. Cross midfield. That time that's going to be Dane Baker handling the ball. Now back to the middle again. Standish kicks it downfield. Goalie got out of there quickly so uh, he can get that ball back to the favorable side of the field. It's going to be out of bounds off of Wampahani, so a Bruin throw in. And a shot on goal. Nicely done there. Henderson looked to have uh, tipped that up in the air and out of bounds. Maybe not. So we'll have a substitution here for Blackford. And we'll have Henderson just kicking it away. Heffernan with a battle. Kept in bounds here by number 27, Wilson of Blackford. So a corner kick now for the Bruins. 3 nothing. Lee trying to add to more here and Tell you what, we've got to find a way to get it out of there, and that one's going to be kicked well over the top of the goal and out of bounds. I'm not sure what the call is here on the field. Looks like they're going to have to have a redo on the throw-in. Put it away there by Shreve. Up in the air. Little header. Nicely done here. Here's Jordan. And that's going to get right by the goal and out of bounds. So again, the score still remains 3 nothing. Blafford. Just about 27 remaining, or uh, yeah, 27 minutes remaining here in this one tonight. So throw in now here for Wapahani if that was kicked out of bounds there by Blackford. Opportunity here, Drayden Gates to throw it in for the Raiders. To the middle, there's Nelson. 
goes right by everybody and Blackford will once again clear it out. Nice job of staying right there with it, Drayden Gates. And Henderson right there to gobble it right back up again. Raiders with a chance here. But again, the Bruins take back home run possession. That quickly changed. Here's number five, Jordan. And on shot, no good. Saved there by the goalie. Nice clear out there now. Gates on to Nelson. And we'll see. I believe that is number. 16, I believe that is, Evan Watt. That were Bruins there was on the side just a moment ago. Great hustle there by Raider number 16, Samuel Kaufman. More substitutions here in the ball game for both Wapahani and Blackford. So again, the Bruins here on their side of the field kind of living here throughout the ball game. Again, good job of clearing it out. Now a high archer here off of the back. Now Nelson tries to kick it out of bounds, and Mahaffey unable to keep it in. We'll have a throw in for Blackford. Nice job there, Shreve. Taking away there on his own. And a goalie sends it right back where it came from, except this time all the way to the left side. A throw in there for Wapahani. That really worked out well. And he must have stepped over the line. Hoover all the way here to the near side. There's number 21. That was Tyler Brown just a second ago. Cleared away. That was by Kaufman. Sends it all the way out of bounds. So another throw-in opportunity here for Blackford. 
You got 21 30 remaining. That's a 3 0 Bruin lead. Okay, so rather it'd be a Wamp of Honey throw in instead. And now shot well to the left. So Henderson, again, will kick it downfield here for Wapahoney. Real nice kick downfield there by senior Caleb Henderson there of the Raiders. A throw in here. Now it's going to be number five, Eric Jordan, to throw it in. And now he'll do it again or no. Actually, that was off of Wapahoney. So Blackford with a throw-in chance here. It's going to be number 19, Stephen Hoover. Now to the middle. There's Hoover again. On shot, just a little high. So we will have a timeout at the conclusion of that shot right there. It's 3 nothing Blackford. 1950 remaining here in the second half. Again, still got a little ways to go, but um, hopefully the Raiders can uh, come away with something right here and, and get this a little bit closer. But uh, nonetheless, 3 nothing Blackford. We'll be back with more right after this. All right, folks, so back out of the timeout here again. Um, the Raiders in some desperate need of some offense here. And we're looking to get something going here and unable to. There's a goalie again, wraps it up for another save. There's McClellan. There's Hoover now into the middle, cross midfield, and now Shreve will kick it up into the air, give the Raiders hopefully a chance to uh, put a point up on the board here. And Henderson will there will be there again to retrieve another one. Under 19 to play now. Absolute boot downfield there by Henderson. I might have a chance right here and deflected and heads out of bounds. So a great job right there. It was really a nice setup there from Henderson. And then that was uh, Bailey L. Samari uh, <laughs> back there uh, downfield. No, nearly had the goal, but uh, we'll have still have another opportunity right here. We'll have a corner kick. What the 
coaches were on the field. I guess we're uh, waiting. One of the brewing coaches making sure and check on the goalie there, making sure everything's all right. Hoover leading the way here, attacking downfield. Able to get there. That was number 17, Luke Jenkins. Just a moment ago now, back on attack again. Drayden Gates in a battle there along the side. That'll be kicked out of bounds, number 17, Luke Jenkins. Again, clearing the way there for Wapahani. So a throw in here for the Bruins, not uh, before we'll have a substitution. That will be number 18, Avery Brooks. Now in the ball game here for the Raiders. Headed up in the air and out of bounds. A corner kick ensues here for the Bruins. Looking for the header and up in the air. Henderson using the height. A great job there by Wapahani. He had all, all kinds of guys, uh, <laughs> nearly both teams on from both sides there with uh, an opportunity to get that ball out of there, and uh, especially for the Bruins trying to score the net, or, you know, trying to get one to go through the net. But really nice job there, Henderson. Um, a goal. Okay, rather, it was actually going to be a goal scored. Not sure where that came into play because it was a nice save there by Henderson. And then um, there was a defender there for the Bruins that then ran into him, knocked Henderson down. And then I'm assuming that when some of the other defenders there from Wapahoney tried to get the ball and, and, and clear it, that the ball must have went across the line. That's the only thing that I can think of, but i never seen the ball actually touch the net. And from our angle, it's hard to see if the ball went across the line. So, put a little bit more time back up on the clock here. But yeah, they're saying it's, uh, it's 4 nothing Blackford. And that's going to sell wide left. So Henderson again here will, just a moment, kick things away. Getting under 16 minutes remaining. Again, uh, later on for following the conclusion of tonight's ball game, we'll have a short post-game report, um, talk a little bit about the game, and then some upcoming broadcasts we'll have uh, throughout the rest of this week.
And another one just missed. Tell you what, it has just been an unfortunate night of soccer here for Wapahani. Just keeping a ball uh, away from uh, from their goal has been an absolute chore here this evening. So again, you kind of you know you feel bad for these guys. You know, we I tell you what, these guys. This is a, a sport that um, you know I don't think guys quite get noticed enough because. I mean, I'll tell you what, you know, you come out here and put all the running in, all the hard work and all of that, but then you have to have refined skills to be able to kick a volleyball, or a kick a volleyball, kick a soccer ball, uh, you know, all the way up and down a field. And, and you know, you obviously got to be in great shape and, and have those skills along with it. Uh, you know, this is a very tough sport. And, uh, you know, when things aren't exactly going your way, it makes it a lot tougher uh, to come out here and, Continue to put your best foot forward here from a team standpoint, but just got to keep plugging away here, and hopefully, uh, hopefully things will turn around for us. Like I said, I know it's late in the ball game here, but you can always take away, uh, you know, some good things that, that you might have done correctly, some um, uh, mental victories, if you will. Deflection there, very close, and that's going to go through. Can't exactly tell. That might have been. Number 27, Donovan Wilson, will be the one to score that goal. So 5 nothing, Blackford. 13.55 remaining. Gates with some nice hustle over there along the sidelines. Now Standish kicks across midfield and now back to the middle. Nice uh, cut pass right there. Shreve looking to clear it up in the air. Nelson with a header over to the side here to, I believe that was Kate Heffernan. Gets it back to the middle of the field. That's the flexion right there. I'll tell you what, taking one for the team right there was 26, Jack Racer. And kicked out of bounds. So be brewing possession right here to throw it in. So it must have been a foul or offside call there. Get another shot wide to the left. So again, Henderson will kick it away. 11.45 remaining in tonight's ball game. Again with the Bruins leading it 5 nothing. Out of bounds there, so Wapahani here with a throw in. Downfield, Nelson trying to get to it, but shielded off there by one of the Bruin defenders. Uh, 
That's going to head out of bounds. Nice hustle there by Alden Mahaffey there of Waffle Honey. It'll be Blackford's throw in. Standish right there. Heads it up in the air a little bit. Now Gates looking to clear it out by kicking it downfield. That was nearly off the face there of a racer. Nicely done there just to keep it to not only from where it would hit you, but then to keep your hands off of it as well. Heffernan on there to Nelson, but then uh, another possessive error there by the Raiders. And the goalie again will clear it back out now to midfield. There's Standish. Now on here, there's number 17, Dayton Hoover there. Of the Bruins just a moment ago. So Nelson looked to have gotten tripped up from behind there, no call. Gates trying to maneuver his way around all those defenders right there. Nearly had some open real estate to work with. Shreve there with a deflection off the shoulder there now number 27 kicks it back up now to the left side here Shreve will kick it out of bounds and another Bruin throw in and more substitutions come in here for Blackford So Henderson there again to make another save after the header there by, I believe that was number six, Braden Smith. There the Bruins just a moment ago. Hello. Hello. Cleared out right there now. Here's Drayden Gates. Trying to go upfield here, and now Heffernan with a battle along the sideline. That's going to head out of bounds, and it'll be possession there of Wapa Honey. And again, another one right into the hands of the goalie. With 7.15 to play. Standish over there at midfield. Get it now here to number five, Eric Jordan. Now to the middle, Nelson. Uh, not going to be able to get there to track that one down as Blackford will kick it back out of bounds. So number six, Braden Smith there kicks it there to the middle and 
And Blackford with another opportunity on the goal sails that one up and away. So Henderson will again punt it away here for Wapahani. Hopefully downfield and hopefully uh, hopefully the Raiders here with just a little over five and a half remaining can possibly put something together to uh, get the first goal of the night here for him. Yeah, they've continued to work hard and battle throughout the evening here. Just unfortunately for them, they just haven't had anything to be able to come to fruition for them and dug themselves a little bit of a hole early. And really since then, it's, uh, it's been all Blackford here tonight. Smith there over to the side. There's number seven, Braden Tier. Now to the backfield. Bruins gear was going the wrong way there for a brief moment. So now back to the goalie. And he'll look to just kick things on over to the side. That's going to head out of bounds. Gates there with the throw in. Here's Eric Jordan with an opportunity off the top of the goal post and out of bounds. So that was uh, definitely the best shot we've had all day. Nearly was able to score that one. Worked hard to get through those defenders. He was uh, Jordan was cutting right through both of those guys. Uh, and was able to get a good ball on shot there, but unfortunately just couldn't get it through the net. But still a good look, great opportunity there. We'll have a throw in. We'll see what we can put together here potentially. And now we'll have you know, a throw in here. We'll have a substitution also in here for Wapahani. So that will be number 13, Ian McClellan, back in here for the Raiders. Nice throw in there by Gates, but unfortunately right into the hands of the goalie. Great job there. Kaufman there with a the header. Tried to clear it out, and the Raiders will do so right there by number six, Lane Logan. Two and a half now to play. Throw in there, number 11, Kendall Shear. Smith well left and out of bounds. So now two minutes remaining. So number 12, Hundley tries to find uh, one of his open teammates, but the Raiders again had some other ideas. Was able to clear it back out of there. Racer showing some hustle there and out of play. A throw in here for Blackford. Great hustle, nice takeaway there by the Raiders. Gates out front here to Jordan, and there's nobody in the goal, and that's going to be deflected out of bounds. So 
So a great idea right there. I'll tell you what, there for the, from the goalie standpoint, he was very lucky uh, that uh, the defenseman got back there in time to be able to deflect that one out of bounds, but a good shot there from Jordan. So I'll have a corner kick with 42 seconds remaining. He's trying to head it in there, but here's number 26, Jack Racer. So they've got to set things up quickly here. They do so. Kicked up in the air. Now three seconds remaining, and that's going to do it here tonight. So your final score here this evening, folks, the Blackford Bruins final defeat your Wampa Honey Raiders by a final score of 5 nothing. Uh, again, you know, it's uh, you know, just a tough way of going things here for Wampa Honey. They couldn't really get anything going. Uh, offensively on their side of the field. You know, they was very much defensive majority of the game. Um, and uh, just unfortunate there for the Raiders. You know, you could see the, the fight they've shown. Obviously, you know, hard work. You know, like I said before, this isn't an easy sport whatsoever. Um, and, uh, and, you know, like I said, especially in 90-degree heat, it's not – you know, I'm sure the, the ideal situation, or maybe it is. Maybe they enjoy playing out in it. I don't know. Um, but still, nonetheless, you know, they came out here, gave it a, you know, gave it a good uh, fight, and unfortunately just came up a little bit short here tonight. Um, and hopefully uh, they'll be back at it next time around and, um, you know, hopefully uh, record their, uh, their victory and move on to bigger and better things. But uh, like I said, you know, this is a young team. Um, you know, with a little bit of experience involved there as well, but uh, hopefully they can get back on track here shortly. Um, but still a hard-fought matchup here tonight with Blue, uh, with uh, Blackford Bruins. Again, 5 nothing your final score here tonight. We'll go ahead and step aside here for a quick break. Uh, again, we'll be back here on our Raiders Live post-game show uh, to talk about some upcoming broadcasts we got coming up this week. So folks, don't stay, uh, or don't go anywhere, rather. Uh, stay right here with us, and we'll be back right after this break. Alrighty, folks, welcome back here to our Raiders Live post-game show. Again, uh, as you can see there on your screen, the Blackford Bruins uh, defeat your Wapahani Raiders here this evening by a final score of five to nothing. Uh, again, a hard-fought effort here by the uh, by the Raiders, but um, like I said, you know, just came up a little bit short here tonight. Um, hopefully, they can uh, get their uh, first victory uh, next time around and like I said we're going to try to come out here and, and broadcast as many games as we possibly can I know uh, you know it's going to take a little bit of time to, for us to get used to it a little bit I know especially myself um, you know with you know getting used to the action of the game and uh, you know there's so much back and forth it's tough to broadcast everything so uh, I know on on my side of things I'm trying to do the best I can Redbeard obviously does his thing uh, with a camera, but uh, we're trying to do the best we can. So hopefully, you're able to to enjoy it. Um, you know, we'll get better as the season goes along here. But um, some upcoming broadcast here to uh, to mention of here we have Raider volleyball coming up tomorrow night uh, from Raider Gymnasium. Your Wapahani Raiders taking on the Blue River Vikings. Uh, it'll be a JV start time six o'clock varsity game to follow. Uh, so we'll be on the air uh, probably right around five fifty. Uh, for a Raiders live pregame there for that one. Then also on Thursday night, uh, there's a schedule change. 
Wapahani was supposed to play at Westdale Thursday night, but instead they got moved to Raider Gymnasium. So on Thursday night, we'll have another home game for the Wapahani Raider volleyball team as we'll take on Westdale. So back-to-back games here this week. Uh, big conference games, uh, great uh, great time to come on out and um, you know support them. Obviously, if you're the parents, now obviously with limited uh, attendance, you know it depends upon who can get in. But most of the time, it's you know obviously it's parents first come, first serve there with that and and getting them tickets uh, to be able to where they can watch their daughters play. And then after that, you know if they have some for sale, then they will do so. But um, you know that's just something to to look after but you know obviously if you can't make it the, the nice thing is we can still you know you all can still watch it right here on the whs network but we'll have it on there uh, on tuesday night tomorrow night and thursday from raider gymnasium wapahani against blue river tomorrow night and then thursday night wapahani against westdale um, should be two great matchups there so make sure stay tuned in uh, tomorrow night we'll have all the action junior varsity game coming up at six o'clock varsity to follow Again, our Raiders live starting around 5.50 p.m. So, folks, again, thanks for staying tuned in this evening uh, with our first Wapahoney Raider boys soccer game. Uh, again, here's the Blackford Bruins. Defeat your Raiders 5-0 is your final score. So, until tomorrow night, folks, I'm Brandon Morvillius alongside Kimmerman Jordan Redbeard McCoy saying good night from Raider Field. <laughs>